Hey guys, Jacoby here. Today I'm going to be reviewing Ghost Rider with his motorcycle. It's kind of like a two-pack that uh, Marvel's just releasing. It's kind of like a series now, uh, seeing as they're releasing like a Black Widow with a Logan with his motorcycle. You know, that kind of stuff. And I can't wait to see what else they have. But as you can see, this box is huge, that it doesn't even fit the review station or the, uh, the camera itself. So this is going to be kind of hard to showcase, but it's a really nice uh, box. I really like it. It looks really cool. I like the new paint apps and everything, but I will go into that more when I open this box. But, you know, first off, I gotta, you know, go over the box and stuff. So down here you have a Marvel logo with a really nice Ghost Rider, like, thing in flames. You have uh, some assembly required down here, which it really does look like there will be some assembly required. Uh, up here you have a Legend series thing. Uh, just a little window thing up here, nothing much. On this side, yeah, it's huge. I have to, like, pack up the camera. Yeah, on this side, you have a picture of uh, Ghost Rider riding his motorcycle, looking awesome. It's really cool. Uh, and then on the back of this packaging, give me a second. Yeah, I'm not used to reviewing boxes like this big, uh, like I said. And then on this back, on the back of the packaging, I mean, you have this awesome product shot of uh, the Ghost Rider with his motorcycle. It looks really cool and awesome. I really like the background they used. I like the lighting and everything. I like the pose. It's It just looks awesome. It, this is just an awesome figure and set, I should say. So, yeah, over here you have his bio in a different style. If you'd like to read it, just pause it here. Uh, you have a little Ghost Rider logo again. And it's like a box like covering up the... Uh, or surrounding, I should say. Surrounding his bio. And over here you have like a the the features that the bike has because as you can see you could like interchange it between this like you could take this off and just make it look like a kind of normal motorcycle and it's showing like uh the details that they've put in and they're showing like the wheels and the gears and ever everything i don't know much about motorcycles but like you know they sound cool <laughs> they're pretty loud and this one's off on fire so that's pretty cool Oh yeah, by the way, there's a Marvel Legends uh, logo up here. That wasn't really important, but I just need to point out everything I can on a box. And then nothing on the bottom. And yeah, let's get this thing open. Alright, so before I get into the figure and its motorcycle, I will be reviewing its accessories first. So the motorcycle does come with everything you see here except for this piece. Uh, so it does come with a bunch of flame effects and uh, uh, this handle and this front skull piece. Uh, this is Ghost Rider's train, obviously. But anyways, this is his, uh, this is the motorcycle's front piece. It has like a like a skull shape to it because it's Ghost Rider. I, I really like it. It's really cool. It's pretty big. It has like a pegs and or pegs handles or something. I don't know what to call those. And also has like a peg thing here, like a peg and handles over here. Uh, but the eyes have like a a transparent yellow that. Uh, that you know, acts as fire, and it looks really cool from the front, from the back, not so much, because, you know, you're not really supposed to see it from back there, but yeah, it looks sick, I really like this, look at the detailing, it's really nice, uh, gunmetal color, or silver, whatever you want to call it, it has really nice, uh, detailing up here in the nose area, not much detailing, but I do like the shape of it, it's really cool, it has like a little thing in the dent right there. Uh, for this, uh, handlebar piece, I don't, I don't know if I'm supposed to call them handlebars, but, like, I don't know. Uh, this is the steering wheel. <laughs> I don't know, I'll call it that. So it has, like, a mirror right here. It would have been nice to have, like, to at least have, like, some type of mirroring effect, rather than just, you know, the plastic. So that's just one small thing I don't like about this piece, but, it, you know, it's just minor. It has the little thing that ports, that ports into the motorcycle in order to connect it it has this like speed thing right here it's really cool nice little detail i think it's a sticker i'm, I'm not sure and for some reason there's like a little green on it and like a little red thing i don't know where the green would come from i don't know that's just minor uh anyways it has these little handlebar things with the brakes or something i, I don't know just inform me on bikes because once again i don't really know about bikes I just know that you drive on them, uh, but or motorbikes, I should say, because 
motorcycles. I don't know. Whatever you call them. Oh yeah, here are his front fire effects. They look pretty cool. They look very similar to those uh, Tanashi Bandai fire effects. Those flame effects that I do have. Uh, but yeah, they look pretty similar. These are just like a more yellow to orange uh, type colors. The, the, the Bandai ones have like a more of a orange to red. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Pretty similar, but these are made for a motorcycle and not figures. And up here are the back pieces for the back wheels. They look really nice. They're huge. It looks really cool. It's more of a darker orange. Starting to look more red. Yeah, it just looks really nice. I like these fire effects. Hasbro should make uh, some more effects, but like, you know, similar to Bandai and Tamashi. And then over here we have uh, Ghost Rider's chain. Right here you have his handle where he, he obviously holds it. Nice chain leading up. And then I like how it like turns into fire and flames up here. Really cool. Looks like it's trying to like grab someone or hook somebody. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like the flames coming off of it. Really nice detailing. I like the, uh, the I keep trying to call it fluorescent, but I know it's not fluorescent. It's, it's, it's uh, transparent. I keep thinking it's neon also, but, you know, just nice transparent orange. Really cool. So, yeah, I'm going to get on to the bike now. So, here's Ghost Rider and his motorcycle all complete with their accessories. Now, I will take Ghost Rider out of the image for a couple of minutes just to talk about this motorcycle. Uh, this is a really nice motorcycle. I like its design. I like everything about it. I love the flame effects. It's really cool. It has a nice little kickstand on there. Uh, this is the skull piece I was talking about earlier, along with its uh, handlebars. It looks really nice. I really, really like this uh, motorcycle. I hope they come up with more uh, like vehicle things, like how Toy Biz used to do it. I believe they were called the Legendary Rider series or something like that. So yeah, it was that was pretty cool. I never got any of them, but because I don't think I was even born <laughs> uh, when most of them were out. But, you know, they, they were still pretty cool. Uh, but these, I really like what Hasbro's doing. And just to demonstrate what you can and cannot take off, you can take off these flame effects back here. They are attached by, uh, oh, sorry. They were attached by this little peg over here. It's hard to see because of the flames. Uh, and mostly because it's the same color. Yeah, there's a little peg down there that you stick into this little, uh, uh, I don't know what you call these exhausts. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're called exhausts. Yeah, so you just stick it in there, and then there's an option where you could just stick it in this peg. I wouldn't recommend it, though, because it doesn't really help with anything. And, you know, it's, it's the same rolling, uh, so it doesn't really help out with anything. So yeah, I'm going to take those off, considering I already reviewed them and stuff. And then up here in the front, you have uh, these flame effects that you can take off. And you, if you're putting them on, you really have to put pressure on them and make sure that they're like all the way in and you can't see any more of the peg. As you can see right there. Yeah, if, if you see any more of the peg, just push it more in or else they'll be loose. So yeah, you could take those off. You just have to line them up correctly. Make sure the one that's like facing the left goes on the right side of the bike and you know, vice versa. And then in the front of the bike, you could take this piece off. Uh, it's the front skull piece, obviously. You just put this part here and you hook these two up to uh, these little railings. And I'm not sure if you can take this off once you put it on, but you know, I had a hard time figuring out how to do it. Cause I, I don't know why, but I just thought that there was an extra piece that I need to do, like screw on and stuff. Cause it says assembly required. So like whenever I see that on a box, I, I just immediately think screws or something like that. So, you know, I, I was confused and stuff, but, you know, you just have to plug in two things into, like, this little uh, rectangle hole. So, yeah, there's nothing much to adding and taking off the pieces. Anyways, it has uh, moving wheels, which is really cool. Uh, they're flu uh, fluorescent. <laughs> they're transparent orange, or yellow, I should say. Yeah, and now I'm starting to think that the word isn't transparent. It's like, 
I don't know. Because it, transparent is like completely see-through. I don't know what to call it. But these wheels are rubbery. They're really cool. Uh, like I said, they're yellow. It's really, it's really nice. If you're wondering, there is a peg attached to this little flame effect up here. But you can't take it off, I'm pretty sure. And I don't really want to try because I might break it. Uh, but yeah, there's like a bunch of little gears in here and stuff. Looking really cool. With its brake lights down here. A bunch of screws are exposed. I mean, at least they're like kind of hidden and like they look like they're meant to be there in a way. You know, the colors just don't match up. And the, like the the shininess doesn't match up. But then down here you have like this kickstand. Really cool. Really does help because, you know, it's a kickstand. So the way you put that up is just, you know, by putting it up and it's writing but you know it's obviously not going to stand because that's what a kickstand is for uh so yeah and then there's johnny's or ghost riders i should say here's his uh footrest or whatever it's called i don't know what this is yeah he has his little seat it really does look like it's made out of leather it's really nice really cool texturing and if you like shine a light over the motorcycle you get like this slight blue bluish thing to the black which looks really nice and you get a blue stripe around his motorcycle so yeah I really like this motorcycle it's really awesome it's uh it's really fun to play around with and take pictures of and pose so yeah that's it for the motorcycle now I'm going to get on to uh, Ghost Rider himself so this Ghost Rider is just a reuse of the Rhino Waves Ghost Rider it's just repainted and, you know, it, it looks better in my opinion. Uh, the only main difference is, aside from the paint, is that it doesn't have the train that goes around its chest. You'll see what I'm talking about later uh, during the comparisons. But yeah, I... The skull. I really like the skull. <laughs> uh, the one on the Rhino Wave, it like chips away because it's like not really even paint. It, I don't, I don't know, it's weird. You'll see in the comparisons though, but like, it's just different. But this one looks like it will be staying, because, uh, you know, it actually looks like paint. I really like the different paints that they've mixed in to make this color, like the, like the bonish, real bone color. I, I don't know what to, what to call it, but if you look closely inside his eyes, he has like a red, red eyes right there. Yeah, you can see it there in the, the brown holes. <laughs> and then there is his flame effects that go around his skull. Flame effects inside his, like, neck. And you could even see, like, a bone right there. It would have been nice if they painted that little bone, neck bone piece. You know, just to match. I don't I don't even know if it, like, shows up usually. But, like, you know, it, w it just would have been nice. And then, uh, you know, his... his uh, Outfit is really cool. I like the blue. I would rather this outfit than the regular black and white. And yeah, they they changed the whole outfit from like a black to a really dark blue. I don't I don't think this is navy blue. It's like you know dark. It's almost black. But yeah, it's it's really cool. Like I said, there's blue patterns. This nice blue belt he got here. He has uh, buttons. Uh, yeah, not not much on the pants. Uh, the boots are just black. Just there's a bunch of stripes on his pants as well. So yeah, not much to say about this figure. It's just a reuse of the Rhino Wave. So let's get on to his articulation. So for the articulation of this Ghost Rider figure, his head can look down this much, and his head can look up this much. His mouth does move, which is really cool. It's a nice feature of the Ghost Rider figures. So yeah, obviously he it moves and it could go off at time at times, but uh, you know that's that I think that's rare that it happens. Uh, anyways, his arms can point out this much. I don't think it can go all the way up because of like this whole piece right here. But yeah, it can go out. Uh, bicep swivel like this, uh, double jointed elbows, wrist rotation and wrist hinge. Uh, he has ab crunch that goes down this much, ab crunch that goes back this much. He has a waist, rot waist rotation, 
uh, his leg can kick out this much. Thigh rotation, double jointed knees. Yeah, it's pretty hard to do once you get him on the package. But, you know, no boot rotation, surprisingly. You would think that there's boot rotation because, you know, it's a boot and it looks like a separate piece. But, you know, no boot rotation. Uh, he has ankle pivot. Uh, toes can point down this much and toes can point up this much. So that's all the articulation for this Ghost Rider figure. So the only comparison I have for uh, Ghost Rider's motorcycle is the San the Sands Sons of Anarchy uh, motorcycle. I got this for like ten dollars on Amazon, mainly because I just got Ghost Rider at the time, and you know what's Ghost Rider without his vehicle? So I just got this thinking it would be a nice uh, thing for Ghost Rider, and it's a little small, obviously. I mean, look at the size uh, compared to the Hasbro one. Yeah, it's pretty small uh it did say it was a 112 scale but i don't think it was maybe it's just that ghost rider is a big figure or this is a 111 or something uh but or 113 i should say because the higher the number goes the smaller it is but anyways uh yeah there i just got this thinking that it would be a good thing for ghost rider it was like i said it turned out pretty small so yeah this is obviously completely different but i might still use this as like a normal bike for Johnny Blaze or something. You know, it could work. And here is the new Ghost Rider standing next to uh, the Rhino Wave Ghost Rider. And as you can see, they are the exact same figure. And uh, I'm just going to show you the things I was talking about earlier. As you can see, there he has a chain. This one does not, obviously. I just wish he could have had that because, you know, just chain. <laughs> but, uh, like I said, in the heads, though, they, like didn't use paint for the head but they kind of did but like as you can see it's like chipping through i don't know if that was intentional or not but like you know it was just chipping through and showing some more fire through the skull i would have accepted it if it was like up here uh but you know it's not obviously <laughs> so you know i'd rather prefer this head because it just looks so much nicer and you know the paint app is so good and everything so yeah, that's just showing the differences between these two. Alright guys, so that was my review on Ghost Rider. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, if you did, leave a like, subscribe, comment if you haven't already. But I really do recommend this uh, set. It's really cool. I love the motorcycle. The figure's awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next video.